Hey guys, this is Alex C with TFP TV. Welcome to a new series I'm starting called the Friday Field Strip. Basically, I'm going to take a look at a unique firearm every Friday and take it down for you guys to see how it works. Anyways, what you see here is a K43 and a G43. On top is my friend Steve's K43. On the bottom is my personal G43. Now, the only difference between these two rifles is actually the letter K and the letter G. Uh, the actual main material differences are more related to date than actual letter designation. But uh, they are quite handsome, quite attractive rifles, and very fun to shoot. Anyways, the first thing you're going to want to do is take off that scope by pulling the lever off, pressing this little tab here, and sliding it off the scope rail. To my knowledge, all, if not most of these, have that scope rail, which is pretty cool. So next up, you're going to want to remove the guts of the rifle. That's going to be the top assembly where you see the charging handle. Make sure it's on safe first. Pull it back. Make sure it's unloaded. Pull the magazine out. It tilts out like an AK magazine. Then it's all about this little tab. Pull the charging handle back as far as it can go and press the button right there, and that locks it to the rear. Press the button on the back of the whole assembly, and it lifts right out. Now be careful not to press that little tab that locked it back or the whole thing will explode and send everything flying across the room. So to take apart the bolt and carrier, you are in fact going to press that little tab but make sure you have a firm grasp on everything. It's under quite a lot of spring pressure. As you can see, the guide rod and everything comes out from that sleeve. You can disassemble this a little further than I do here, but it's yeah, not something you need to do, I suppose unless you're an extremely detail-oriented person. Then take the bolt off of the carrier by tilting it up and out. And then you've got the heart of the system. These are flapper lock firearms. Those two indentations you see flap into recesses in the receiver. So remove this bit here. It almost looks like a locking piece from a G3, but isn't. Take your flappers out, or flaps, singular, I suppose. Sorry, plural. Um, remove this pin that retains the firing pin extension and the actual firing pin. And there you go. There's your bolt group all the way taken apart. So next up, let's do the gas system. Press a little retaining hook on the front with a punch or bullet tip, whatever you got. Remove the top hand guard. Here you can see I tilt the rifle so the camera can see it a little better. But basically, you're going to want to compress this spring here, pull out the center part of the tappet assembly, pull off the piston, and then let the spring-loaded section ride forward. And there you go. There's your gas system taken all the way down. If you have an SVT-40, you'll notice that it pretty much does look exactly the same. So all in all, there you go. You have a fully stripped G or K43 rifle. Like I said, in this case, it is a G43. Not too complicated, but very interesting. The flapper locking system is uh, very similar to an RPD or something like that. You can see here, I highlight all the little bits. Um, everything is uh, very well put together on these. It's not particularly finished well, but they were trying to get these rifles out of the factory as quickly as possible. So they didn't uh, spend that much time with a polishing wheel. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this installment of, uh, well, the first episode of the Friday Field Strip slash Disassembly series. This is a pretty cool rifle I just wanted to showcase that I recently got, and I hope you enjoyed it. This is Alex C. with TFB TV. Hope to see you next time. Uh -huh.